How do you find it's a little bit easier to go? Post Abby's a third year resident at Munson Medical yeah. Center, but she still remembers the pressure of being a first year. You're responsible for your own decisions. You know, you're, you're placing orders for patients. You're you know, working long hours. Working long hours became a hot topic last year when the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education published changes in work hour regulations, changing the way residents like Abby did their work. We would be awake and responsible for our pagers or for patient phone calls for about 30 hours. Um, and then, you know, we'd have weekend shifts that would start 5 p.m. on Friday and end 7 p.m. on Sunday, and we would roll through. 30-hour shifts are no longer permitted. 2012 guidelines state first-year residents can work a maximum of 16 hours in one shift. That must be followed by a 10-hour break. For second- and third-year residents, shifts can run 24 hours, but they must be followed by 14 hours off the clock. Our supervisors are very good at monitoring levels of fatigue and saying, okay, I think you know, you've worked long enough, I think you need a small break. While patient safety is a top priority at Munson Medical Center, there's some question about how realistic the new guidelines are. Are they really preparing doctors for real world care? As Munson Residency Director J. William Rollin points out, there's not a 16 hour shift limit for practicing doctors. Clearly there's the recognition that at some point you'll finish training, you'll be out in practice and you no longer are restricted. And so it's a fine balance between training physicians um, in a safe manner, but also training them to practice medicine in the real world. Rollins says he tries to keep his current residents at 14 hour shifts. He also points out when it comes to making sure patient care is never compromised, supervision is equally as important as rest. Supervision is actually part of those work hour rules and that also changed. So the levels of supervision that are required for first year residents, for example, are much different than those required for third years and they've gotten more rigorous. Rollin tells 7 to 4 News at the end of the day he's happy to work within the new parameters so long as residents are mastering the techniques they need. We really want to turn out highly competent, uh, high quality physicians um, and that is our goal. For 7 and 4 News, I'm Brody O'Connell.